just reached the 5,000 views. Um, time of doing this, we've got about, um, I, I believe there's 127 subscribers. So I just want to thank everyone that has subscribed and all the help and support I've had from people and some of these more well known YouTube viewers that have really helped me out. Um, so, yeah, to just under six months uh, period, six months period to get um, over 5,000 views is very much appreciated. So, um, what I'll do next is just give you a little bit of a background information on myself, um, where I came from, and how I got this far. Um, it's a weird way of it coming about really because one of the work colleagues, did, well he actually came into work with uh, CE4 Clear and Moiser and he was sucking away on it like a dummy and I just turned around to him and said that ain't going to fucking help you or nothing mate, you might as well just stick with the fags because I just thought it was something like the placebo, you know, um, something to convince yourself that you didn't need cigarettes. Um, but. The magic all began for me when he turned around and said, it's an e-liquid, or it, it, it's a juice as he put it, and he said it contains uh, nicotine. And I thought to myself, nicotine. And even after that, I had to do a little bit of research to discover that the nicotine is actually what myself and everyone else is addicted to. So. Um, carried on, I gave it a go. I think my earliest recollections were of using like the Cigalike, uh, Cigalike cigarettes basically, which were plastic and they lit up on the end. Um, didn't get too far with them because they didn't taste very, very nice at all. They were fucking awful to be quite honest. And then I, I moved on to um, like star kits like the original bait pens. Um, and I've not looked back since then really. Go. Okay. So sort of about a year after taking up vape and really getting into it heavily, going around all the local vape shops, talking to them guys, uh, seeing what they were stopping, what they thought, uh, looking at all the new stuff coming in. I thought, if why don't I just start a vape group? Um, so yeah, a year into vape and I started vape reviews. Um, and it took off, and that really took off because of the sole intention of supporting the vape shops. While well, you had an opportunity back then, you can't do it now. Well, you can, but you can't have price and all, and all that bollocks. So, um, and that escalated into something that I didn't expect. At the moment, we've got like just under 2,500 subscribers um, or members on the vape channel. And um, there's been all sorts of things going on, and I've um, been able to hold interviews with like leading manufacturers such as Vampire Vapes, Riot Squad. Some of the more well-known uh, YouTube reviewers have um, been more than uh, happy to be interviewed, obviously in a written style, a written format, and. Um, yeah, it's just, that's really fulfilling and, uh, and satisfying because everyone I think is on, when you talk to people, a lot of them are on the same wavelength in, in that, you know, vaping has been able to get them off the stinkies or some of them are still dual using but pushing themselves towards coming off the bags altogether. So, and that's been, you know, us using the Facebook group, have been able to support people where possible give suggestions, ideas and encouragement and other people have done the same thing within the group to help people make the transition. It's not an easy thing to do for some, it was for me because in the back of my mind I thought to myself I've had enough, enough is enough, I've had enough of the, of the fags, not just because they were stinky, because of what they were doing for teeth, um, the hair, the white hair, uh, and um, not to mention what I was doing to our, uh, our house with the wallpaper, the skirt and boards were yellow and the rest of it was used to smoke indoors and uh, that was one of the reasons, another one of the reasons for quit, 
not just because of the financial aspect, but I could see from a physical perspective what um, smoking of tobacco was doing to my lungs, and it was representative of the um, looking at the wallpaper and the skirt and boards, um, seeing the yellow, the yellow stains, the yellow um, tobacco stains, including on your fingers and the rest of it to say your teeth. I just thought enough was enough financially. for me. It took me about a month entirely to quit smoking and um, so I found it quite easy but I had all the extra motivation to do it. You know these things that should, I like to think are in the back of other people's minds because that's, that's just going to make the process easier. It's a lot safer, it's 95% plus safer. Um, anyone in the business will tell you that and it really is. Um, the chest feels a lot better. Run. I should say I've like, a job at my time of life, but I just feel a lot fitter in general thought, so, you know, it's, um, that, was, that, was, that, was, that was a real eye, now seven years down the line, and now I've got this YouTube channel, so I'm quite chuffed.